In this video, we will be studying about the monopolistic competition. See, the monopolistic competition is a combination of monopoly plus your perfect competition. Let's say, let's take the example of toothpaste. There are the brands like uh, Colgate, Sensodyne, your Pepsodent, Babu, Dabur. Now, all these brands have different products that they are selling. They are selling the toothpaste, but actually the product in it is differentiated product. You can differentiate between the products that are sold by these, all the brands. See, the double includes your all the herbal things. Then your Pepsodin includes many other brands, which is your sensitivity. Then you have, you know, salt in it. Then you have charcoal in it. Then you have whitening in it. The Colgate, you have other things. The Sensodyne is for sensitivity. And then Babool, you have the, you know, ingredients of Babool. The strength is Babool. So now, these are the differentiated products that you can differentiate between the product and which one they are selling. But actually what they are selling is cool, uh, toothpaste, right? So this is, you are selling a toothpaste, this is the perfect competition. But you are selling the differentiated product that your product can be differentiated from the other. You have patented your product. See the Dabra is patented its product that nobody can copy its product why the toothpaste is red. What are the ingredients that they are using. So you patent your product the accordingly, the technology accordingly. So it gives you the feature of monopoly. Right, so this is the monopolistic competition, is the combination of a perfect competition and monopoly. So we can define your monopolistic competition as it is a form of market in which there are many sellers of the product toothpaste was the product but the product of each seller is somewhat differentiated from that of the other thus there are many sellers selling a differentiated product so this is actually the monopolistic competition now we will understand the features of monopolistic competition the first feature is the large number of buyers and sellers There are many seller, sellers, but they are selling the differentiated product and there, there are the large number of buyers. The second we have is product differentiation. And this is the most important feature of the monopolistic competition, which means the product differentiation is done from the brand 
and trademarks or the differentiated product. So the differentiated product are close substitutes of each other like Colgate toothpaste and close up toothpaste. Because of the product differentiation, each firm can decide its price policy independently. So it is partly price taker and partly price maker. So each firm has a partial control over the price of its product. So the prices are partially controlled. This is the most important feature of the monopolistic competition. The third we have is freedom of entry and exit. So if you and I want to launch a new toothpaste the same as Ramdev Baba did with the Patanjali Dantakranti toothpaste. So there are the freedom of entry and exit into the market. Fourth is the selling cost. Each firm has to incur selling costs to promote its sales. So Peps, what Colgate, Peps, Dent, Close Up and Dan Kranti is doing, they are competing with each other, right? So they have to incur into the promotional costs, the advertisement costs. So they, these are the selling costs. Fifth we have is less mobility. There is no perfect mobility of factors, goods and services. The sixth is the lack of perfect knowledge. Both the buyers and sellers do not have the perfect knowledge about the factors of production and the buyers do not have the perfect knowledge about the price and the prevailing same type of good in the market. So there is lack of perfect knowledge. Non-price competition. See the uh, firms may compete without changing the price of the product. Like say the serve itself 500 grams cost you rupees 47 and same way the you have uh, tied of 500 grams costing you rupees 38 see these are both are detergents but why people choose surf excel more than the time my might be the goodwill of the surf excel or the quality that they are serving so the non-price competition exists between the sellers eight is more can be sold only at lower prices Under monopolistic competition, a firm can uh, sell more of the product only by lowering its prices. So, the firm's demand curve slopes downward. The monopolistic competition, the demand curve slopes downward. So, more can be sold at lowering prices. If the cervix will reduce their prices to below the entire, so people will shift their demand to the cervix. So more can be sold only at the lower prices. I hope you have completely understood the monopolistic competition and the features. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.